a school teacher falls prey to a flesh-eating monster. I've never had a pain like this in my life, and I'm freaking out. Gene Williams is on the brink of death. Doctors have found two huge abscesses growing in his liver. Without immediate surgery, he'll die. The doctor says, prep him as if he's going to get a liver transplant. And now I know it's serious. Now I know that this is life threatening. For Jean's wife, Kathy, it's a living nightmare. This is the worst moment of my life. Jean tells me that he knows he's dying. He can feel it. And he's actually turning gray. My last memory before I fall asleep is Kathy running along me, holding my hand, telling me how much she loves me. The result is something that nobody expected. Gene is infected with a parasite called Entamoeba histolytica. A parasite in me? I never thought that would be possible. Entamoeba histolytica is a parasitic amoeba that feeds on living cells in the human gut. But in rare cases, the Entamoeba histolytica will actually attack the intestinal wall, eating through the tissue. From there, it travels in the blood to the liver. Here, the Entamoeba feeds on the liver cells, thus creating an abscess of dead material, liquefying the liver. But how did a school teacher from Cincinnati contract such a deadly parasite? The amoeba starts its life cycle as a free living cyst in the water. When a human drinks contaminated water, the cyst enters the gut. Gene most likely contracted the parasite through contaminated water in a warm climate. When we were in Florida, we went to a water park that had just opened. Could Gene have picked up the deadly amoeba at a water park? The doctor explains to me that typically it takes about a week for symptoms to show, and that would have been perfect in our timeline from when we were on vacation. It's hard to believe that Gene got this parasite when we were on vacation having so much fun. Monsters inside me. Only on Animal Planet.